Hi, this is Harish Pali from technofed.com. You may want to track location of your Android device for various reasons like it's lost or stolen or you may simply want to use it as an additional security for your family members. Well, Google provides this amazing but less known feature to track location of your Android device. This can be done through a desktop or through any other Android handset to learn more. Watch this video. For ease of demonstration, I have connected my Android device to this computer. First thing you need to do is go to Play Store. Download and install this app called as Android Device Manager. I have already got this installed on my phone so I am not performing this step. Once you install this app, go back to your home screen and then go to settings menu. Scroll down a bit and you will see location. If you don't see location under personal, check it under the personalize menu and open the same. It's currently set to off, set it on, agree, go back to the settings menu, click on security, scroll down a bit and you will see device administrators below, open the same, check this box, android device manager and activate. Now go back to the android device manager app and open the same. Login using your Google account details. There are two devices on which I have installed this app. One is Samsung and other one is HTC. Samsung is currently in switched off mode. Let me show you the HTC one. Click on this little drop down on the right. And you can see these two devices. I am selecting HTC. It is now showing me the location of my device. I can zoom in or zoom out depending upon my own personal preferences and how do I want to see this device. You can also track your Android device on desktop for that. Open a browser on Google search for Android device manager. Open this link. Login using your Google account credentials, the ones that you use on your mobile. You can click on this triangle shaped arrow and choose the device that you want to track. Click here to rename the device. You can click here to refresh the device search. There are three options given below ring lock and erase. If you click on ring and ring here, the device will start ringing automatically for five minutes. Similarly, if you click on lock, it will lock the device with a password that you will set. Currently there is a glitch here and this function is not working as of now. If you click on erase, then this will erase all the data on your smartphone. Only data that will not get erased is the one that's on your SD card. In case your phone is stolen and you want to wipe your data and do the factory reset of your device, then you can use this option. This circle is the location of the device. You can zoom in, zoom out depending upon your own personal preferences. Drag it here and there. If your device is stolen, you may want to check the location history for that. In another browser, type google.com slash location history. Sign in using the same Google account details. If you want to check the location history for let's say yesterday, third, click on show timestamp and play. This will start from six in the morning. This is the dot from which the location history starts. And this is the moving line. I can pull this to the level where it will start moving. Yeah, can you see this movement? This is how I traveled yesterday. At any point of time, I can pause here. This is the map view of the location history. If you want to see the satellite view, click on satellite. You want to see this with labels or without labels is your choice. I missed mentioning one thing that this app Android device manager won't work on devices that are switched off or do not have a internet data package. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. Any queries with regard to the process, put that in comments below. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.